Right, I'm going to sow some sweet corn today. You see that? Swift. And what we always do, we, ch we chit it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty simple, really. Right, get your towel for tub. What we actually do is chip them. Put a bit of tissue paper in, kitchen towel or something. Give it a water. It's a quite thick towel this, so I'll give it a good water. It's got to rehydrate the um, seeds anyway. Put in the packet. Oh, what's in here? Oh, got two lots of seeds in here. Oh, how have they done that? Hmm. Never seen that before. Obviously didn't have big enough packets. There's Thompson and Morgan. Not many in each thing, anyway. That's what sweet corn seed looks like. Right, we're just going to put these in here, try and space them out a little bit. I'm going to put the whole lot in, I think. We like sweet corn. Doing this for oh, decades. <laughs> I use this little packet as a label, I think, right now. See that? Right, get another bit of tissue. Sort of make it fit in a part in a way. And cover it up. Push it down a bit. Get some contact with the seed and a bit more water. Keep it watered. And that's it. And that's like I said, I'll put that in there for the label. So that's sweet corn. We use, uh, we've been using these for quite a few years, the Swift one. Just thought I'd show you a couple of chili plants overwintered. I've cut them, they were about um, another six inches higher than that because they get die back. So you want to cut them a bit longer than you want. But the other day with this one, I cut them down a bit because what you want is the light that shoots coming from the bottom. And then you can see they're coming from right from the bottom there. But there's also little shoots just there. And there's some more coming around here. This one is a brain strain seven pot chili. Very hot. And then there's another one here, similar sort of thing, but this one I haven't chopped back yet, but I may do. But you can see it's got lots of uh, new growth. And uh, they eventually end up down the polytunnel but not until the frost is gone. And this one is 
the Trinidad Maruga scorpion. I hope I spell this, pronounce that right. Eh? Another one, very hot. Thought I'd show you my grew box I made last year, just a bass box standard box. Got a timer on it, set it 12 hours at the moment. Some electrical connections going through to like a, I think that was a cat litter tray covered in foil and a couple of uh, 30 watt 6,500 Kelvin bulbs. They're very bright. And inside I've got some plants. I've put them into um, separate trays just so I don't get mixed up. Right, these are some more chilies. Right, I top the chilies. So now they're all starting to branch out. I don't know if you can see that. They're actually in three inch pots. The other, almost all the other things are in Jiffy 7s at the moment, but they're going to have to be repotted on some of them. These are Munchkin pumpkins. I think I showed you me sowing the seeds at the root at the bottom there. There's one that's not up here. But I know he's coming because there's a root at the bottom. Actually, that might be him just showing now. These are peppers. California Wonder. These ones. They're uh, cucumbers. I'll just show you one of those in a minute. So just a few of the roots on them. I'm going to have to pop that up tomorrow, I think. Next we got, I think this might be cucumbers. Oh no, that's a squash. I think it's an early button up squash. Yeah, early button up squash. And then I got some a few tomatoes over there. Those are sweet million. I think that's another pepper over there, California wonder. Oh no, this is California wonder in there. And that one over there is oh that is a pepper. I can't remember what it's called. Oh beauty bell. Beauty bell pepper over there. And they're all coming on just fine. Oh, I've got to put the foil all around the, the edges of there. And I got I drilled some holes through the top. And I got some holes at the bottom just to uh, allow for some ventilation because it does get rather hot in there sometimes, but it's not been too bad this year. Because what I've been doing is to prop the top up. I'll show you in a minute. But I really could do with a fan in there, I think. So that's my grow box. Just show you how I uh, how I've been propping this up. I can do it one-handed. A pair of Mrs. Plates uh, cooking prongs. Prongs. And I've just been putting it on the edge. Like that. And then just leaving a quite a big gap. Hit the tomato end because the tomatoes are a bit uh, higher up. And that's it really. And I tell you what, they're really good. Gonna have to do a bit more uh, grow light next year. So I try and show you how bright it is. I've been running about a temperature of 25 degrees. Because uh, I just um, put it back, it's obviously not that yet, but it's going up. I just got a cheap uh, minimum, maximum thermometer. It's got a little smiley face though, hasn't it? There you go, so you can see it's going up. It got up to about 25, I think. 